Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Pro version. I finally got a uh, key for it, so I decided to give it a test drive here. Show you that it's uh, fully updated. There you go. Protection is turned on. Quarantine, logs, ignore list, settings. I'm just going to leave everything uh, just like it is. Not going to change anything. So let's do some tests here. See how Malwarebytes fares. Now, to be sure, this isn't Malwarebytes is not a full fledged antivirus. So don't, um, don't think that it is. So it might react differently to some threats. See what kind of memory usage we got here for it while Internet Explorer is loading up. Okay, the computer is really slow right now for some odd reason. Hmm. There you go. You can see that they're both active, so you got about what, 26 megs. So let's get going here. Let's try the first one out. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything there. Okay, that one got caught. Okay, that was uh, the internet address IP was blocked on that one. And so was that one. And that one. So far it seems to be doing actually really good. Don't see anything. Uh, I mean, I, that first one's kind of weird, but it seems to be catching the rest of these pretty well. Okay, I think I got two more here. I like tests when they go nice and quick like this. Looks like that one might have been blocked. I'm not sure. And that one doesn't work. Or wait. Maybe I forgot to copy the E. Nope. Okay, so let's open up Malwarebytes here. See if we got anything running around in uh, RAM. Looks like we got something there. Lots of RAM usage. Look at that, 70 megs. Oof. Okay, so let's do a uh, let's do a, a flash scan first. Um, this what this does is it checks uh, the RAM for known bad uh, you know viruses, malware, whatever. 
It's made as a fast, quick check, something that doesn't take long. While that's doing its thing, I'm, let me just go grab uh, Hitman Pro. Okay, that didn't find anything through the flash scan. So let's perform a quick scan. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video while this is scanning. I'm going to install Hitman Pro. And you know what? I'm not going to perform a quick scan because that's what I normally do when I test. Um, when I use Malwarebytes for testing, but when I test the actual application, I always do a full scan. So I'm going to do a full scan with Malwarebytes. And then I'll be back when that's done. So I'll see you then. Okay, so um, there seems to be a problem. I have something on the computer that keeps killing Malwarebytes. Um, it gets to a certain point in the scan and then it just cancels the scan and Malwarebytes just goes away. I've never seen this behavior before. So let's see if Hitman Pro can shed any light on it. See if there's anything weird. I don't see anything in Task Manager, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. So, whoops, I gotta connect to the internet. It's, it's the weirdest thing, like Malwarebytes will be scanning and then um, it'll just close and minimize and go down to the taskbar and that's it. Now I did not clean temporary internet files, so we're going to have to kind of wade through these a little bit to kind of see uh, what's what. Okay, so that's temporary internet files. I'm not worried about that one. Uh, this one, eh, possibly. I doubt it'll go away. This one will go away. This one might possibly stay there. This one's definitely something here fraud pack. Let's see what else we have here. This is something. We've got a startup. Uh, backdoor. Cloaked malware. Here's another one. Uh, Renos variant. And these are temporary net files. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my testing kit, um, run CCleaner, restart the computer, and see if I can get malware bytes to run then. So I'll be back uh, depending on what malware bytes does. Okay, so I want to show you guys this. Uh, what I did is I ran CCleaner, and then I'm restarting. As you can see, there's a piece of malware that's trying to run on restart. So I'm going to cancel that out, and I'm going to see if I can do a scan now with uh, Hitman Pro and actually get it to go through. So I'm going to do a quick scan to see if I can just get it to go through, and then we'll see when we get there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, finally whatever was killing malware bytes didn't do it anymore and it finished actually scanning and it didn't find anything. So I am I want to try two things because I got some time. Um, I'm gonna I want to do a scan with Komodo Cloud Scanner. This is their beta build, just so I can kind of see you know how it's doing. I haven't played with it in a while. Um, they're still not, I mean, it's still in beta, so they still got some things to work on, but I just kind of want to get an idea of how it's been doing. So I'm going to install this, and then um, I'm going to do a full scan with it, because it's got this full scan built in now, too, to scan for malware. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner finished scanning, <clears throat> and it didn't find anything. And I still know the system's infected, so they, they still got some work to do on this. But I wanted to do something else. I wanted to scan and do do a trial for Windows Defender, just for the hay of it. And I know it's already found two things, that Reno's thing, two different ones. So we're going to apply these actions. And then I've already updated Windows Defender. I just updated it, like, right now. Um, 
so what I'm going to do is um, once this is done doing its thing I want to do a scan a full scan with Windows Defender just to see if it finds anything else so I'll be right back uh, when that's done okay so Windows Defender finished scanning here and it didn't find anything else so for the last thing to scan let's try uh, Hitman Pro here see if it finds uh, anything hard drive is busy doing something so I will pause and um, be right back whenever the Hitman Pro is done okay so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it found two things uh, found a Trojan that startup one that we saw and it found a suspicious file in temp in a temp folder so you can see um, Malwarebytes did okay um, it's not the greatest but it's not meant to be a full-fledged security suite it's meant as a complement so in that context um, it did pretty good so uh, that's it really on this review uh, I'll see if I can get another one done on something else if not, I'll talk to everybody later.